All right, guys, so back again. Got another DNF duel dropout or drop, should I say. This is the last character for the season two or season one patch. This one's going to be released this week. I don't know anything about her. I haven't seen her trailer yet, but it's been on my sync sketch, collecting dust, rusting. But I'm really, really excited to see what we got playing out with Zen Master. I'm sorry, not Zen Master. Nin Master. Yeah, I got to work on my lisps and shit like that. But this one's the hot new character on the market. And we're going to take a look and I'll just let you know what I think about it. Let's play this shit. Whoa. Okay. Wow, moves. Oh my god, she's got air attacks. Nice. Oh shit. She got that Hanzo Genji shit. They know what they were doing. They know what they were doing. Let's be honest. Dude, that was crazy. As far as this goes, man, this is quite an entrance right here. There are two very, very big reasons why I like this trailer. And that is double dragons that we have right here. Yin and Yang, Billy and Jimmy Lee are in the trailer. They came at you live. Two biggest things I really, really enjoy about this character. Get your head out of the gutter. First of all, this intro is pretty badass. You got the Melania Blossom that's happening. Nice little squeeze in. We reveal Zen Master. I mean, I'm sorry, fuck, Nin Master. I keep saying Zen, Shit. They left no space for any of her knees or any of like more of her legs to come down they actually just had like a really nice flat bottom right there everything's super symmetrical right here probably would have liked maybe like a little bit of difference in how the hand comes up maybe one finger's up the other finger's down or whichever and even the hair too the hair is like straight up I could do something like maybe like maybe just down like that just to kind of catch my attention a little bit notice that she's working with circles right here too so circles are more friendly more inviting this move right here is pretty dope like the fact is that she does this little spinner rooney attack and then her legs go outside of the frame which is uh I'm not gonna stay on this one too long even she's looking at us too as this is happening it's kind of creepy nice path of action that's happening there too and notice how we go from a really wide pose to a really squashed pose too these are hard shots to do when you get on the character on a handstand on their hands they have to push off using the on their carpal tunnels we don't have controls for the carpal tunnel so usually what we do especially in motion builders we pin them down on their fingers and then move their hands up to have that push effect that way you can get that nice roll ball effect too which is pretty much absent on our fingers because they don't really predict that the character is going to do this somewhere along the line which is understandable too we normally work on our feet i mean very careful attention to how the hair has to be bundled up what the ponytails are doing to create that nice path of action and how the dress is interfering with this spin attack too as it's coming around you know that's all got to be carefully crafted nice little flair too with these little decorations which is really cool as well and this is really cool like i love how the hair does this little reveal so the hair comes down in this shot just like the omni man cape animation that i did you know like there's like a swipping motion where there's one line of action that comes down through the frame and we get this nice little reveal of the character as well too yes of course you had to get that sexy pose going so really really <laughs> I'm digging, I'm digging the way that she's holding her arm right here too with just the three fingers and she's got like the two fingers poked out. How she grabs things and moves things as well. And notice really too, like they're really punching in on bones and muscular parts of the armpit right there. They're utilizing that, this part, like especially with it when it comes to like shading and lighting and stuff like that. Damn, you know, if that, you know, that ain't something to really catch your eye, I don't know what will. And I love how they're really playing with this 
force perspective angle. Hands come out to like a nice Y pose. Notice how they're really bending and tweaking these arms to get together. It's kind of like a big thing that you watch out for, especially how far they're pushing these shoulders to. Kind of get into the realm where they're really breaking the character, which in my book is okay, but normally in other studios, it's a big take it down a notch too. You know, you don't want to keep these characters proportioned and leveled. They're really spending a lot of their time really putting a lot of flail and a lot of splay on these fingers too which i really enjoy hands are a motherfucker to do precisely pose especially when it comes to each frame like arc systems is usually doing too so props to the guys for doing that to really show these fingers some love too you can be very expressive with the characters is how much that their fingers and their hands are really like communicating with you same thing like this too got the cool chung lee pose and they always do this little breaking finger pose i've noticed that in a lot of animes too i can't do that like it's like literally like double jointed or something like that but it just really makes for a nice striking pose right here love love nice little details you have like the curves the arcs that's coming around they're utilizing this bangs or whatever like that's that's kind of like going over the top of her hair like that adds like a little bit of mystery i really dig it she's got like some very very quick attacks too notice how the body is outrunning the hair designs. As the character is attacking, notice that the hair bangs, the hair ponytails are dragging behind these attacks too to kind of give you more of a clear direction on what's happening. So the body goes from a nice anticipation pose to an attack. The head and the chest remain steady and you see the change in the arc and the spine right there. You see a good read on the face because the face doesn't move as, uh, as much. We go from left to right, and also the hair drags alongside that attack too. Really nice pushed arcs. They're using the hair to kind of complete that arc, paying attention to every small detail that she's got on her cosmetics and on her dress in order to get that line of action, more readability, which I really, really applaud them for. Okay, she got like a little Duke and pose right there, all right. So this happens a little too quick for my taste probably about like one two three four right into this pose not saying that it's bad or stuff but i think like you could really really push this pose get the effects away from what the body's doing so you can really see how that character is being pushed throughout here of course her waist is really busted right here whole chest is like and gouging her abs i dig it and stuff like that but i also think too that you could really play around with this backhand too his backhand kind of comes they really push that arm out through here as she's like doing an attack because she has these mickey mouse ears important to keep this character in profile she in fact has to have both of her buns either up top or left stage of us too just to kind of help i think if i had more control over these things i'd totally go the mickey mouse route the the pigtails right there too this is really really cool notice how they're they're really putting that nice flag wavy motion into these key poses right here nice nice flowy hair braids like that too feels so damn good that's nice secondary motion which i really really like to see so this is her idol let me see, let me check this one out not too big of a fan of the face forward with the eyes looking to the right looking straight away like this obviously the angry angry eyes so to speak and then with her nice ponytails that's coming up i think you could thin that out just a little bit more you get the same readability as what you got, but we're just pushing that arm out just a little bit more. Love the straight up and down. She's got like the cross legs too, which feel nice. Hair is complimenting, kind of like unraveling on top of her pose, which feels dope as well. Now I love her air combos. Her air combos feel pretty dope. Damn, these hair poses are really sticking out to me. And look at this opposite way that she's using the, this nice curve that's happening through here. It's a really solid pose. I literally think like pushing it and breaking it in such poses like this is actually really worthy when she hits this pose is maybe give these ponytail braids a little bit more flow flowing as she hits there because like as you could see as she goes from this pose to the next pose they kind of stay in this position but it is nice and readable you can read the silhouette a little bit better through these poses too uh secondary emotions like you got in this shit right here too Whew. feels so damn good i would actually continue that process through these attacks as well maybe a little bit more of a breakdown as she's coming through like she's really expanding and breaking down this spine arms back 
she could even come maybe one more frame through here and right through there that's where you get your force your power through there here we get to the so this is really fun one two three four five and then like comes in with a giant dragon the lower body maintains shape the upper body goes left to right and then she does her little changing from left to right i didn't even notice that too slightly different offset with the pose and the coolest part of this pose was very end part too when she comes for that last attack she spins around holds this leg holds this extender holds that pose and then as she's spinning around that you notice how that leg is breaking she goes from here to here and then her whole hips go from literally you know facing forward right side facing forward to left side to right side facing outwards 360 of that pose and still holds on to it as well and this is cool because this is the shit that I don't see unless I frame by frame it she's in the dragon mouth look at that shit Arr, that's so fucking dope a lead into this pose too and I can't really see too much of it because again it's engulfed by all these special effects but it just feels good I love the transition into it this combo feels fucking awesome into this movement you can tell they really put a lot of work into finessing this since she's the last character through here we lose a little bit of the hair but then it comes right back into this nice little this is this looks like such a fun character to do because I love how everything even like her hand is a symbolism of that blossom a symbolism of like a flower again with the, the balls of the hair too i probably would separate them just a little bit more mickey mouse that shit up a little bit this is kind of interesting kind of something that i wouldn't think i would say until now her foot is facing us and her knee is facing this way this is kind of a big no-no in animation especially when it comes to posing it's just having her foot out just this way if the knee's going this way have the foot go out this way too simple as that the animators and arc systems really like to torque these poses which i'm totally not against but just for stability and not making the character look like it's busted or broken i just like to keep the principles the same but again rules are made to be broken so what the f do i know see like if i was to do this pose my mind would say show this other arm on top and keep that nice little gap in between the two arms but they actually make this nice little twist effect where the arm comes up and around so they're curving this forearm in order to get her putting on top that's a pretty clever idea and i never would have imagined it really nice poses through here too careful attention to the fingers on top of one another which feels nice her arms do kind of feel a little short around here i wonder if that's just because of the angle that she's at the thing that's really bothering me about this pose i think is because of the fact that her shoulders are so pushed back and yet she's doing like this extension pose. It feels like it hurts doing that shit. That one just kind of felt a little off to me. Look at this. Nice line of action. A little complicated through here. Really nice silhouette pose. Shit. Standing straight up. And then just utilizing that balance. That off balance from here to there. To make it strike really hard. Okay so we see the blossom. We see the bloom of the flower. She's nowhere in sight to be seen. Which... I think it's kind of a missed opportunity. I probably would have loved to see her summon this fucking thing. Like having like maybe close up on her pulling out and then seeing this thing emerge instead of just her being engulfed in this thing. So this is really fun stuff. Like when it comes to like spirals and dragons and shit like that, the camera will follow wherever the head goes. It's gonna come around, not break camera, but it's gonna zoom in and follow the head too as well, which is really great. So they got like this nice little loop action camera squeezes in dragon engulfs the camera then we make that a nice transition cut we fill up all that negative space and to just blow up the frame with a nice good close-up cut from here right to her throwing her punch but the interesting thing is, is that the dragon I feel is a little bit off from here to here because I'm almost wanting to follow her off frame but then she stops and then does one of those that classic face to fist pose I think what you could do in order to kind of help help with that is starting her more over this way. So like from frame to frame, her eyes are matching with the dragon's eyes. And then her face can come forward within frame. And then you can cut to the fist coming after that. So it's just like, wow, like that more 
in your face hold it for maybe a frame or two more the biggest thing is, is that I don't see your hand just see this giant gleaming ball of light and then you cut to this cool shot which I don't really think the transitions quite clear on four frames blinding and then all of a sudden the camera pushes back um, I love the pose but I also think like guys like two frames I can't read this cut three frames to a gleam of light I'm blinded cool pose one two frames another gleam of light I'm blinded good thing that's bugging me once you establish a character that's putting a direction like that's throwing something in this direction the very next frame should be either moving the character to where you're seeing this projectile going this way but instead of that they cut from center to shooting right to center again this transition gets a little ch little clunky through here and i think have the hanzo dragons come out by the way this is the overwatch hanzo ultimate where his double dragons come out and consume the frame i would really play around with more of the dragon faces like i love seeing the dragons and all of a sudden they just cut out like we barely get to see the blue dragon and the yellow dragon and then all of a sudden they're gone they're gone from the frame we give them a little two or three or four more but this is really fucking dope like i love how they reveal her at the end and come in with a nice cool shot like i love i love the entrance she comes in through the ball we kind of hit a high wall right here she stays in the center of the frame for a little bit more extra readability it's golden right through here I don't really quite see the f the foot and where it's coming and merging to because again it's like black on black discrepancy of the legs and the feet versus like the dress and stuff like that when you have like a white background and your character has white anything it's important to have that establishment of like how this character is looking and designing look at this thumb though <laughs> And then coming in for the nice close-up of the eye really nice transition you start seeing more details of the nose and the mouth through there as well too cut to this and they hold for how long so like this is like a readable pose so i'm guessing I'm guessing like six to seven frames chat one two three four five six seven eight nine seven to eight frames yeah cut in hold one just one quick frame now it's cool and this is pretty cool nice little dutch tilt shot her feet come in we hold it for like one two frames that's clever and then she just darts down that path okay so i didn't see this before so the victim is like has like three or four frames of them falling the dragon consumes it and then the blue dragon oh he, oh he comes through here oh that's just too much yeah i didn't even read that part you should have just had that blue dragon go straight I thought it was just going to be straight. Like, the yellow one takes him over the top. He suplexes him. He's like, you know, get out, bitch. And then the blue one should have just went straight in. The yellow one takes him over the top. And then the blue one should have just went straight in there. But he's got, like, this one, two, three frame of him doing that. Yeah, I didn't read that stuff. The only thing we're looking at is movement here and movement here. I love how she goes from, like, this really, like, very disciplined, very strong to, like, this quick little personality pose right there. I love it. From serious to stern to playful, you know. And nice, simple, nice, simple uh, arc shot through here. Nothing too crazy. Clearly, the arms and the hands are the star of the show, right? Cool. is interesting. Nice little leg lift throughout here. Didn't even need to do that, too, but this is kind of interesting too but it kind of makes me think how off balance she is very nice attention to fingers details and fans i love how this character does not have little toothpick fingers does not have small fingers at all they gave them girth they gave them width they gave them actual dimension and thickness too you don't even need lines to separate the fingers too as long as you've got great shapes and the rules of two you really notice these fingers pop See, like, if I were to do this in a professional setting, this would an absolute be a no-no. Like, this would definitely be called out. We'd be like, nope, too high, breaking the clavicles. With this character, it just works, you know, especially, like, with all the cosmetics that are around her. Especially here, too. Really pushing that nice shoulder line, the way that's up. Really nice, really feminine, really sexy, too. Coming in and out. Yeah, it's really cool. Nice, clean, really good solid shapes, too. The thing I love about it as well, too, is that she's got this nice line of action in her spine, but really they're using these arms to be solid and hard. 
you know, curvy torso, curvy body, but then the arms register is really solid and really strong. So again, strong, solid poses are hard edged. So, and then she's got her nice little moment. It's over. And then cute little character pose right there. And on top of that, guys, we're getting more view of her face. So before the hair was really in her eyes, giving her that bit of mystery. Then when the character reveals the full face, it's like, that's who she's about. This is who this character is. So really, really cool. Love the design. Really, really pops out. Really feels good. Oh, dear. You know, and then she's got the hee hee tweak pose like that you know like the little smiley pose as far as everything goes i really love this character she has a lot of attention and detail onto her finger poses her hand poses have everything to do with what makes this character look good and feel great not to mention that her hair her secondary animation has a nice good flow with some of her attacks that make it feel really fluid and really fun to watch the only things that i could really break down and critique about this trailer is that it has a lot to do with the super there's a lot of missed camera direction when it comes to the dragons how she's projecting it uh from where they're going to where they end up and like just not unnecessary dragon movements that need to be placed there because i'm really just looking at her movements and where she's like trying to go so i'm thinking if you're going to make the dragons do something at least put more focus on them and try not to overdo it with how much dragon action is happening uh in order to get like a really good uh telegraph when it comes to her moves all of her poses feel really really strong this is like hand posing 101 if i were to show this to anybody i really adore how they took a lot of time to really craft these poses and the only other things too is that there's a few spots where the hair is pretty stiff and i think the hair really complements her and especially the movement that she's doing how she flails how there's a line of action there's a reveal and there's they're really taking time to press those hair poses into her attacks too so i would say like don't just stop at one attack like hit them all up really go to town with like how much secondary motion you can get with like a bunch of these uh attacks that she's got in her move set overall zen master damn you know all i gotta say is damn you know in a good animation clean healthy family friendly type of way at a nine i really enjoyed it like i enjoy seeing them going out with a bang the end of the season really cool looking character she looks fun can't wait to play her but i love how they really put a lot of attention into the hair, the cosmetics, most of all, the fucking fingers, guys. The second most expressive thing that the human body can do. And if you put a lot of love and attention to that, you got fucking butter, you know. DNF Duel, don't change, even though you're getting a lot of hate in the community. I still love this game. Zen Master, I mean, pff, Zen, pff, Zen Master looks great.